Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Three years after the measles virus was virtually wiped out in the UK, the World Health Organization says it's back and has removed the country's measles-free status. Last year, there were almost a thousand cases in England and Wales, three times as many as the previous year. Take-up rates for the MMR vaccine have been falling, with one in ten children in England not fully protected. Here's our health correspondent, Sophie Hutchinson. It's hard to believe now, but little Alba was dangerously ill earlier this year with measles. Her mum, Jilly, says at one point she thought she might even lose her. Alba had been too little to be vaccinated against the disease. There was a day where she got really, really sick, and that was when it hit me there. I thought, we might not, we might not be bringing her home. So it went from being very serious concern of losing sight, losing hearing, having brain damage because of it to actually not having her here anymore. Oh my days! Children are given the first MMR vaccination oh, to protect against measles when they're 12 months old. The second dose comes just before going to primary school. But the latest figures suggest this autumn in England, one in seven children will begin primary school without their second dose of MMR. That increases to one in four children in London. And even more worryingly, that 30,000 children in England have never had either dose and have no protection against the disease. If your child is completely unvaccinated against MMR, then the chances of them getting measles are very, very high. Even though measles is now rare in this country because we have high uptake, when it comes in, it spreads very quickly. It's the most infectious disease we know of, really. And so it can get into a school and spread and pick out all those children who are unprotected very quickly. Measles is highly infectious. It can lead to serious health complications such as deafness, learning disabilities and cause fatal pneumonia. Three years ago, there were so few cases in the UK, it was classed as having been eliminated. But that's changed. This year, there have been 231 cases. Anti-vaccination campaigns on social media have been blamed. The Prime Minister's inviting companies to a summit to discuss it and ask GPs to promote catch-up jabs. We are welcoming the government's announcement today, but what we haven't seen from the government is how these efforts will be funded. We need adequate funding to make sure that parents and the general public are aware of the importance of vaccines. This year, cases of measles have trebled globally, with outbreaks rising in the US, France, Germany and Italy. Many agree urgent action is needed to protect children like Alba. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News. The government today pledged to push back against a fall in vaccination rates, which has led to the UK losing its measles-free status. The disease has made a comeback in the UK this year, with figures showing a rise in the number of children who aren't being fully vaccinated. Martha Fairley has the story. Alba Moss has fully recovered now, but she nearly died when she caught measles earlier this year, before she was old enough to have the MMR vaccine that protects against measles, mumps and rubella. Her eyes started to swell up and the rash started to develop. If we hadn't been admitted into hospital and they hadn't treated her, she, she wouldn't be here. In the first quarter of 2019, there were more than 200 confirmed measles cases. One in seven five-year-olds in England may not be protected against the virus. That's around 90,000 children who haven't had their second dose of the MMR vaccine. It requires a lot of effort by the whole of the health service to make sure that parents are getting the appointments on time, that they can make the appointments as easily as possible. If they miss out, they get another chance. And I think sometimes when their children get a little bit older, people forget that, that they should have had the vaccine two or three years ago and maybe don't think about it. But with a falling level of immunity in the population, some are taking drastic measures. This nursery won't let unvaccinated children attend. It's a matter of social responsibility, as far as I'm concerned. There are people who can't be vaccinated for whatever reason, so it's up to the people that can be vaccinated to ensure that they are. An ITV News Mumsnet survey found 77% of the online parenting site's members think vaccination should be compulsory before children start school. But there are still parents who defend their right to choose not to vaccinate.
There is a strong minority who are concerned about parental choice and think that it is a very big decision to take that choice away. And so what we tend to see is a lot of debate about this on the boards and I think that's really important to feed in the debate about what we do nationally about this. And as thousands of pupils get ready to start school, parents are being urged to check if their child needs to catch up with their vaccines. Martha Fairley, ITV News.